vlog. Um, an eventful flight, um, took quite a lot of takings on the duty free, slight spillage in aisle one, but as a crew we got on great. Quite a good landing by Captain Stevens. Uh, we went off to the hotel then, um, where we did what flight crew do, and then I met up with Dick. He, by that point he'd assembled our bikes, got mine a bit oily, but we'll forgive that. And then we've done 35 glorious miles from Gen uh, Geneva all uphill. Um, I had to really carry Dick most of the way and take most of his luggage. <laughs> but that's just the way it's going to be. Uh, we're now in La Clusa, which is just a beautiful Alpine village. Um, and we're about to have some food and then go on the zip wire. Apart from that, it's been quite a dull day. So, great. <laughs> end of day one. Dave, looking forward to day two? Very much. Gorgeous view. Seems not bad. You need a selfie stick. I do, don't I? Brilliant. Right. I ah! Right. Dick and I have had a fantastic ascent to the top of uh, called Aravis, which is about 1,500 metres, yep. the highest we've been. They've got a, we had a massive problem with road kit. Uh, so anyone anyway, who saved the pelts, and this is going to pay. <laughs> this is going to pay for the holiday. We've got we've had 30 francs per pelt. We, that's what worries us though, because um, they'll only pay us in francs. And um, these are the hides we've just got today, and this is the, this is this was tragic. We were hit by a plague of beavers. <laughs> uh, Dick had to wring that one's neck. It was <laughs> but anyway, it's, it's going to pay for the holiday, as you can see. It's like a scene from The Revenant. Um, I won't ask which of us is DiCaprio, but uh, yeah, as you can see, it's been a brutal, it's been a brutal trip already. But um, well, it can't get any worse. It doesn't get any better than this. Does it Keep going past a bit. <laughs> get past it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> just, just want to get this view. The I've noticed you need a lot of breaks. <laughs> <laughs> and slowly Dick's giving me all his luggage. Although I might have crashed that one already. So, serious point, we've uh, done about 18 miles, climbed a couple of thousand metres. I don't know. No, not that much. Or cut. Uh, no, about two and a half thousand feet, we reckon. Stopping for lunch in about an hour. In a perfect morning cycling and uh, it's a fly. just finished um, without doubt the biggest hardest climb we've had so far uh, spent about an hour and ten going up uh, a gradient of average in nine percent but this is the view at the top absolutely stunning so looking forward to the rest of the ride we should ride Very good night. Uh, my snoring defences worked even better, and I only worked Dick at once. Um, I was frightened this morning by the sight of his red baboon bottom. Um, more of that later. We'll get the capture on camera. Um, that's where we left yesterday. That's Val Desert, which is a bit of a sinker state, but uh, it's quite good for a night's sleep. We've done half of our 15 climb up the Col de Liron, quite hard at the start, and then we've got our legs back, so it's been really nice. Um, trying to think what else we could say. 
just a lovely temperature and climate and having another brilliant day. So we'll catch up with you later and we'll put together our vlog for the, le for the next two days. Take care, bye-bye. Every year, uh, several hundred skiers die on the glacier up here. Sometimes with the movement of the ice and snow, suddenly their remains will emerge. We've just passed them this glacier and that's all we can see. We, uh, we've dug and dug and dug and uh, we found a few body parts, but they're too gruesome to show you on this PG rated film. But if you go to Dick and Dave at xrated.com, you'll see everything. But it's tragic, but we think that by paying homage to this person, whoever he or she was, we've done them, um, well, we've remembered them. Spectacles, testicles, wallet, and watch. great descents I've ever done. We, at the top of it there was a, a Skoda car, it said uh, the French cycling team. About two minutes later the team came past us. I reckon they must have been in 60 miles an hour. Uh, brilliant, just spectacular. Anyway listen, look at this, look at this view. How magnificent is that? Dave with brakes. <laughs> So we just had our first bit of mechanical incident. Uh, talk, talk us through it, Dave. Well, we were coming down um, a sort of 30% hill, uh, doing about 40k, and as soon as I had no brakes, and I actually 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 lowered my buttocks onto the road to create any adhesion whatsoever. So we're now like a pair of baboons. <laughs> uh, but we've survived intact, and the mechanical supreme, Mr. Watling of the Green Bike Company, has saved me. So, Mr. Watley, I'm forever in your debt. You've got brakes. <laughs> uh, 2k from Telegraph. It's been epic, but brilliant. Oh, there's bits of me that might not be speaking. Just done that, and we reckon that's our best one so far. Um, we were rather shocked uh, to be bit to the top of the hill, of the hill by him, though. But if you'll notice, he's not carrying any luggage, so we think that he's cheating. But I'm going to set fire to him in a minute, and then we'll level level the scores. But uh, any of you that follow the tour, see this is one of the great climbs, and uh, we've come from down there. You can't really see it. But we've climbed something like. Um, 1500 feet from the valley floor in just about an hour and a half so and we feel good I can definitely feel the biking legs coming in um, I hate to think what the bottoms look like I'm certainly not going to describe what they feel like uh, but yeah it's been a fantastic magnificent day another magnificent day and uh, we look forward to talking to you a bit later when we put today uh, put together Tuesdays and Wednesdays blog Come with the mountain today, we stopped for a stretch for a cool down and he came over to me and said, I want to be your friend. So anyway, we brought him, to, <laughs> brought him for a dinner today and he's sitting with us and um, he's, he's got, he is cute, isn't he? He's just, what he's so lovely, watch, he just nibbles away. Oh, don't you just want one yourself? Anyway, I'm sending you each one through the post. We've called him Gambas. Say hello to the pe say hello to the children, Gambas. <laughs> hello, hello, Gambas. Hello, everybody. So um, we're here on day four, and uh, I've had lots of time to reflect on uh, the opportunities that I've been given coming here. Um, and you know, I started just with very humble beginnings. Um, I was born to mixed parents, and I was very young. I was the youngest ever at that time when I was born and uh, we didn't have very much. My dad um, started by just filling holes and pulling things. Um, 
started on front teeth, moved to premolars, and then rapidly moved on to molars, wisdom teeth, maxillofacial surgery, and root canal work. But we never had much money. And uh, my mum, well, she was salt of the earth, and well, she likes she likes it when I call it that. She takes it as a condiment, but she would she was firm but fair, and she would let us eat whether we're hungry or not once a week, and came to the house once a month whether we need to or not. Um, but from those humble beginnings, you know, I've made it's made me what I am today. And but I never really knew what my job, my life was going to be about, and then I one day discovered a copy of Cycling Weekly under the mattress in Dad's bedroom and started, well, cycling on my own and uh, I guess no one would have mentioned me and then one day someone noticed the chafing and Bradley said to me, you could be so much more than, than you are. And then Simon became my mentor and uh, taught me to be the best I can be and, and that's brought me here today and I just know that... Um, these opportunities you give me are wonderful and uh, you know if you just vote for me um, I promise I won't let you down but anyway listen I'm missing you all lots and uh, I know that you're watching me at home every night but it's been a great opportunity and, uh, and again thanks for voting for me. Uh, almost halfway up, in fact, I think we are halfway up the Glibier. Uh, still in good shape. Uh, yeah, not in height. We feel it's going to get tough from here on. So, uh, away from Dave. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you at the top. <laughs> So we've just done the Col de la Galivier, which is 2642, 18 kilometres, uh, mostly 9%, uh, but we did it and we feel pretty good. Uh, fantastic spirit going up there with the bikers, a real achievement and uh, very proud of ourselves, it doesn't sound too big-headed. That's, that's what we've come to see. So once again, we've come off a huge climb <laughs> <laughs> and Dave decides to have a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> a mechanical dysfunction. I personally believe it's the fact that he's concerned about my descending skills. Just reduce, reduce your average speed dip. <laughs> this was Dick's idea that we, um, at some point on the trip, find an alpine stream and um, have a dip. So we think we've got changed here. It's a bit like a scene from. Um, I can't remember, is it room, not room with you? Yeah, room with you. Uh, I don't know which part of it's going to be. So we're in a lovely little ski resort, only about um, four, five kilometres from the top of the uh, first big hit all the day, but we've had to stop to go to a pharmacy. Uh, the flies are incredible. So we're going to try a fly spray to see if that works. 
and um, see if we can feel less like Linus and uh, more like cyclists. So not far off the top, uh, about um, two hours into the day. It's been climbing non-stop since uh, the hotel this morning. I don't know if I was actually vidding last time. So you're capturing us at the top of a, or coming to the top of a really tough one, 24k. Uh, countryside's completely different now, it's more, I don't know, very feels very southern. We have resorted to washing our shirts in the stream, so they're ice cold, and then putting them on, on it's because it's 25 degrees um, centigrade. It's a bit warm side, but it's just stunning beautiful. Uh, good old slog, and then we have the epic of all descents. I think it's 24 kilometres downhill to finish the day off, so rather magnificent ride. Um, lots of encouragement from the motorists. There's quite a few cyclists around, but not many people touring. I don't know why, I think I'll have to kill Dick. Here comes my hero. <laughs> Drum dragging me up the hills most of the day. What a star! What a star! Dick, you are fantastic. Well done, my friend. Well done. Keep it going. We we dare to believe that that might be the top. I reckon 3k away. But it's very different countryside now. As you can see, it's more barren and spectacular and beautiful and stark. Um, Dick comments on David Shaw's patented um, blood cooling device. Excellent. <laughs> Top idea. I think it's our fortune. It does Amazing. help, doesn't it? Yeah. <sighs> we're little, we're little um, reptilian to the touch, I'd imagine. Cold and clammy. Um, but we still find each other indecently attractive in spite of all that. And that's all that matters. <laughs> this has been a great, great test. And, and it's also important just to enjoy it as well. Because you can occasionally go for a whole kilometre and think, hard work and just have to take your mind off it but it's been a joyful day. I must admit I'll be glad when we see the top of this one. Some sort of rock animal down there. Uh, it's called a rock. I'll show you what I think. Do you mean that white thing? The circle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's like um, a goat thing. It's got to be a marble. What was they say about Marmots? Oh, they love them or you hate them. We'll, we'll, um, we'll look it up when we get back. Obviously very clever, um, cloven-hoofed animal. I can't remember the collective noun for those. Anyway, we'll think of one. Um, right, this is um, signing off and taking you back to the studio. Bye-bye. This is why we're coming down. Can you imagine anything more exciting than that? Just fantastic. And that kind of da, 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 da. that I think over there is where we come from about 15 minutes ago. That has to be one of the great roads of the world, doesn't it? Whoa, what a day. Anyway, I'm lucky boy to do all this. <laughs> lucky boy.
Day seven. Day seven. Day seven. Saturday. And yes. we've had a very pleasant night in a very pleasant little town. The climb up there was 7k and coming down today we can't quite believe we did it when we were that tired but we then had a 20 kilometre fantastic ride round down a gorge that just went on and on through a lovely little town called Isola and now we're climbing up this place. As you can see very different type of countryside carved through. You've got roads and tunnels carved through the rock and then there was a bloke who looked just like Dick behind me and then, oh and there's another one in front of me they're breeding. There's I deliberately moved round so I wasn't in the shot. Oh, no, 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 it's not. Yeah, I know you from your cadet photograph days trying to get in both ends. That's an old trick, but it worked brilliantly there. Uh, yeah, so another cloudless blue sky day. Look at that, I'm just going to film the sky. <laughs> Lovely. Um, yeah, so again, privileged to be here. Just gorgeous. Cannot believe France has got so much gorgeous countryside, mile after mile. Lovely. Things are getting a little bit worrying. I've been cycling for several hours now and I keep getting drawn towards the light. I have this ohm, overwhelming, <laughs> overwhelming desire to cycle towards the light, but I'm resisting. If I don't see you again, I love you all. So homeward bound, uh, on our way down to, to Frejus, first climb of the day, and uh, all good. Away from Dave. <laughs> away from Dave or away? away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's trying to get away from Dave. Yeah? So here we are, almost finished. We've got 12 kilometres to go to the end of our uh, Odyssey. Odyssey. So one of the last climbs, I think we've only got two climbs, two little ones to go. He keeps saying that. <laughs> We've gone on the, last, the penultimate climb for the last 300 miles. There has been a lot of that, unfortunately. <laughs> oh dear. It's still a lovely day, and uh, we're almost done. So, David, we've done it. The highest points we've le got left 57,000 feet of climbing. Wow. And if you look left, you'll have the view of the sea. The sea. It's the mad. Geneva to the...